Thanks everybody for coming this evening. As you know, our guest is Tom Riley and Kathy Riley. And what Tom is going to do for us this evening is to share his artistic journey with us. He was really fortunate to have spent his youth in the Woodstock art colony, surrounded by painters, sculptors, writers, musicians, composers, poets, actors, and to have heard of Meher Baba there. Then his art became a revelation of his being. As Baba said to Tom in the lagoon cabin, yoga for the East is a means toward the fulfillment of the spiritual life. Just as art in the West is a process toward the realization of the sacred within. And welcome to the artist's view for August. This is our opportunity to have a discussion and to better understand the process that an artist uses in developing their artistic sense. So thank you all. Tom, Kathy. Hi. We are trying to get, we are so happy. Thank you everybody for your patience. And we have the luck of the Irish to be on, Tommy. Whoop, okay. So. Patiently waiting for the money to come in. <laughs> uh, so what I would love to do is. Go down to share screen. Yeah, where is that? Share On screen. the bottom. Okay, thank you for your help. Yeah, uh, and then it. click on the presentation. Oh, good, thank you. Very good. Okay. All right. And now, now go up to the top. Yes. So you go into the slideshow. So that's the little double arrows. You got uh -huh. it. Slideshow. Okay. Uh -huh. Click and start over to the left. Oh, good. Thank there you. you. Go. Good, good. You're good. all set. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. So um, I think, Tom, we're going to share a little about your artistic journey from childhood. Yeah, living in Woodstock was such a gift. And uh, even in the local school system, art was played a prominent role. And I had a wonderful, wonderful teacher, a woman named, this is quick. <laughs> yeah, she was just so helpful in every way and also so perceptive to the needs of each individual and the inclination of each individual. <clears throat> that led me very naturally into a unique interest in the art of drawing and painting. And when I was 16 or so, I became acquainted through my older brother, Bill, with one of the early painters who arrived in Woodstock back at the turn of the century. He had been a teacher at the Art Students League in New York City and helped found the League's summer school in Woodstock in 1904 and taught there. <clears throat> totally in, involved in the field of painting and in the midst of all of the various painters from anywhere in the world who came to Woodstock and many lived in Woodstock. And as I say, when I was, I think I was about 16, through my brother Bill, I was introduced to this painter. His name was Walter Golds, G-O-L-T-Z and began studying with him the 
painting was done outside with with uh, paint boxes and easels. And I just became totally absorbed in that throughout that very first summer. And then even when I returned to school on weekends, I would even continue that work. It became so, so much a part of me. And, and <clears throat> a necessary field of involvement. Not only did I study painting, but I met so many of his older friends, some marvelous painters, sculptors, composers, artists of various mm -hmm. kinds. Mentioned some of the artists that he talked to, talked oh, to you about. God, many of them. You, people wouldn't know. Uh, Henry Matson, uh, Eugene Spiker, so, so many. He was friends with Bellows. George Bellows. And Sargent. No, Sargent was previous um, to that. What about William Merritt Chase? No, he was also oh. previous. Mm -hmm. There were many, many wonderful artists and, and many, many very conscious people. It was an atmosphere of such enlightenment and fulfillment. Mm -hmm. so what was and then one? you went to art school. Yes, when I was, I think, in, late in my 17th year, I entered the Temple University in the School of Fine Arts in Philadelphia, because my brother and his wife were living in Philadelphia and informed me thoroughly about that school. And it appealed to me so much, I, I entered the, the School of Fine Arts, the Tyler School of Fine Arts. And that in itself was another fulfillment and met so many interesting people from just so, so many different places and became acquainted with all the various fields of art. I attended college there for four years. And returned to Woodstock every summer, continued my work as an artist. And uh, through an ad in the paper on one of his vacations home from college, saw that fortuitous ad that your sister placed in the and I'm not there was an call. ad by Raul Vidas for weekend, you asked for weekend work and the call came from your sister had called this person who called you back. And tell me about Raul. And, and Raul, and then Tom went to help Raul and his mother who were packing up their big, house to return to California and the turning point of your life happened as you packed the library Mind and me. as you packed the library on the cover of a pamphlet you saw this beautiful face oh yes mm -hmm. no, I was packing up the library in the house mm -hmm. they were moving everything was selling the property in Woodstock and moving everything to California. And they asked if I would, if they could hire me to help pack up things in the boxes that the movers had left. Because I was packing up the library, I would take four or five books at a time off the shelf. One of them was a rather thick magazine 
and on the cover of the magazine was a large photograph of a very impressive looking individual. And who was it but Mayor Baba? And I read what was in the, the magazine and it impressed me very, very deeply. Very fulfilling information about the life and what Mayor Baba had to offer. And I went to Raul and asked him because my brother, my older brother Bill, seeing my interest as a young fellow of say 15, 16, I had a, a, a very natural interest and a fervent interest in Indian philosophy. And Tom, I'm thinking because this is our presentation about your art. Uh, it would be wonderful to to dwell on how Mayor Baba, you know, turned your artistic direction yeah. toward his fo focus upon his image and his reality. Well, well, yeah, continuing my work mm -hmm. and packing up all the books in the library. Um, Discovered another book filled with photographs of Mayor Baba mm. and went immediately to Raoul, my employer, and asked him to tell me about this individual because everything that he said intrigued me and preoccupied me. And he began to tell me all about Mayor Baba. And as it turned out, Raoul had written movie music in Hollywood back in the early 30s. So it was there in Hollywood that he became acquainted with Mayor Baba while Mayor Baba was in Hollywood in those very early 30s. Before Tom begins his slideshow, which will tell more, this is the the pamphlet the and the photo that Tom saw in the fall of 1954. So I think this would be a wonderful time to begin the slide presentation. So shall we begin the journey? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Let's see. So Oops, okay, so the... One of my very earliest paintings. These two. These two, yeah. When you were about how old, Tom? I would say... Studying, 17. studying with Walter Goltz. Yeah. And, and this is a, a later I was probably about 18 when I painted that one. That's also looking out from Walter Goltz's property near the heart of Woodstock. It's wonderful what how this evolved. How? Shared how what Goltz did to begin the painting. Oh yeah, so this is a rather large painting. It's actually on the wall behind me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's see, can you see it? Oops, yeah. uh -oh. no, no that's, we can't that's see it. it. Okay, it's back, see it bit behind us <laughs> on the wall. So, so it's about 30 by 40 inches or bigger. And you said that Gold sketched an initial. Yeah, he, he took some turpentine and a thin brush and some simple pigment with burnt umber 
mixed it thinly and made the basic sketch for the painting, just in umber and white on the canvas. And I completed the painting, went to work and continued the painting throughout the entire day until it was done. And this is the result. Mm -hmm. This is another one. That's the Woodstock Library, just outside of town. And you were about 18? Yeah, I was about, yeah. I'm not 18 because even after my first summer, my first uh, winter at college, the following summer and the summer thereafter, I continued my work with Walter Gauls because mm -hmm. what he taught me was so fascinating to me. I simply had to go back and I was his only student. He was almost, he was in his early 80s at the time, still painting every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a Early drawing that you early, very mm -hmm. early drawing. Tom has told me that initially he brought some of these early drawings to Walter Goltz to see if Goltz would accept him as a student, and they impressed Goltz. So here are some other early drawings. And this is Jesus. another one. Oh. Well, That's also, mm -hmm. is, is that Judas? Judas. Mm -hmm. So this is pencil? No, that's kind of uh, charcoal and with, with brush and, and turpentine or pencil, heavy pencil with, with uh, charcoal and, and turpentine and brush. How old were you, Tom? When... This one probably. Judas, 19. 17 or 18. That's pencil. Tom, this was from 1950. This was 1957. Well, then this is later. Yeah. This was uh, I'm How just that the, fit in here? well, we're just uh, showing your a lot of your drawings oh, before we do the paintings. So this was a self portrait. Uh, of course, you had heard of Baba in fifty four in Woodstock, mm -hmm. connected to the New York group in fifty six and just missed Baba. and January of 57, this is dated. So sh shortly before you and Yvonne, your wife Yvonne, at that time, went to Myrtle Beach to meet Baba. So this is- That's Yvonne, my former wife. She passed away. <laughs> this is Tom, this is children. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten the essence of that the reason for that drawing. You have written here, this is what marital affection should not be. Because it looks like Mr. Whoever he is is about to throw Mr. something. Angry. Mr. Angry is about to throw something. <laughs> but definitely, maybe we could get some ideas from folks about what this is about. He's angry about wearing those clothes. I'm not going to be attacked by someone. <laughs> he doesn't uh, like clothes. It's charming. It's just so wonderful. <laughs> How do you like those children? <laughs> they they seem pretty happy. <laughs> See, that's that's Kathy. <laughs> I always did have hairs on my nose. <laughs> Oh, golly. Very fun, fun. So these next two, Tom. 
And this is. <laughs> These were from 1966. And the medium is uh, ink and brush, Chinese ink and brush. <coughs> this also first drawing and then pencil and then Chinese ink and brush. Another one. These are from quite a bit later. One of them is dated 1980. Wow. Pencil. If you were able to get close to this pencil drawing, you could see that Baba is hiding in two places. He's pretty visible if you see the dancing figures in the background. I wish we could zero in on this a little bit. But then if you look close, what's that? More closely, you can see Baba in the midground on a little purse. You can see part of Baba's face. I used to uh, act. I can't see that. Oh, it's a, it's hard to see from this distance. And this is? Elijah. Elijah. That's right, Jamie, you sing about him. Elijah and the priests <laughs> of Baal. Yep. He's, Tom was always very taken by Old Testament stories as well as the New Testament. Must be Jewish karma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's about to bring back the the fold, bring the fold back together. That's my nephew, Peter, and his coat. That's Chinese ink and brush. And that was 1967. Dating. Uh huh, 67. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, what did I do here? Uh oh, okay. So the next. Mm. It's Hasra, Baba John beneath the neem tree with Baba and others connected to him. Who is this one? I don't know who is he. You have to a I devotee. To oh look, he's a drummer, so maybe it's a relative cliff. <laughs> a drummer, Baba Jean, Baba, and devotees beneath the neem tree. And the it's, is it pencil, Tom? It's pencil, yeah. Same. How who came first, Baba or the plants? Um, they, they grow simultaneously. Tom said he, part of this was becoming interested in his house plants. I remember you said- Yeah, you, that, that is a, one of the house plants. And do you see that beautiful full moon behind, hiding? Oh, well, you're behind the center of the plant. Mm -hmm. And that's Tom walking the tightrope. After Tom returned from the East West gathering. Yeah, my focus was so utterly upon Meher Baba and my remembrance of having been with him. So Tom asked his sister to take a photo of him envisioning this pose. And then he took the photo and drew this portrait, self-portrait of the aspirant, of himself as yeah. the aspirant.
And now they're very involved, pencil drawing. In 63. Is that it? The, that, the former and this. Mm -hmm. Do you see Baba playing the instrument behind the sitar player? Let's... One more. Each one is slightly somewhat different in style from the other. But this is an evolution. This is called Does that have a name? The Book. The Book of the Heart. This was also 1963 after returning from the East West Gathering. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the dimensions of the drawing? The dimensions of this one? The, yeah, most of those drawings that you did, uh, Tom, uh, with the heavy pencil, you know, the, the pencil. What were the sizes of those? What were the sizes of these, you know, the of what? Of these drawings. What were the oh, sizes? Nine, nine by twelve, eight by ten. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a interesting mm -hmm. pencil What does it say? Every it says, be not afraid, my heaven is nigh. Elijah. Mm -hmm. I every oh, year I, I make Tom sit down and draw something for a Christmas card. So I think this was two or three years ago. The Christmas card. Um, among my favorite participants in these gatherings that Tom draw have has drawn, have drawn, are what I call rat dogs. The dogs often look half, what would you say? Sometimes more ratty and sometimes more dog esque. <laughs> now we'll switch to some of Tom's paintings. Early paintings, yeah. When I was a young fellow in my teens, I became very fascinated by the work of the American painter Albert Ryder. He kind of took me over. I just really fell for his style. It was unique. There was nobody in the history of American painting who was quite like him. He was utterly and totally independent. This is one of my quite early seascape paintings. Because while just before my first year at college, I was fascinated by the sea. And I joined the National Maritime Union so that I could work during the summertime as a seaman aboard a ship. And it was fascinating because it, it took me to such distant places like South America, the Mediterranean. I worked as a seaman aboard freighters and to join the National Maritime Union. And it, it was extraordinary. I loved the sea. And, and then at home, once again, I couldn't stop painting the sea. That's the sea uh, off the Irish coast. There's Baba in the boat. And that was actually quite, that quite was, early, that was 1995. Some of these, uh, we were just, this has been wonderful because it's helped us look for the dates. And this one. is 95. It says, it says so. Mm -hmm. the treasure chest of his love. And then the boat. 
This was 1978. That's quite an earlier one. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening. Where is that no, coming from? Okay. Part of a rocky coast, maybe on the British Islands. Mm. This one also. Yeah, the drama of the sea coasts enthralled me. Now, tell us about this. Well, there's Baba on the shore. I can't remember where. <laughs> Waving. Many of these, you'll see what I call a tiny Baba. Yeah. Waving. It's always present somehow. Mm -hmm. Which dates back to Tom's childhood when he was in the one room schoolhouse outside Woodstock and would see. Yeah, there was a whole wall of huge windows looking out on a meadow, and just beyond the meadow was the edge of a rocky rivulet. And as I looked out and contemplated that beauty, I would imagine seeing Jesus there on the edge of the landscape of the river waving at me. So there he is. This is again off the Irish coast with a round tower on the left side. Mm. I took many, many voyages to Britain and Ireland. There's Baba with the treasure chest. Baba in front of one of the ancient ruins. Again. Mm -hmm. So this is more recent, this one. I know you can say so. Mm -hmm. This is this was dated nineteen ninety-four. I don't know. No. Somewhere in Europe, hard to tell where. <clears throat> Ships I was on traveled throughout the entire European sea coast. Just the pure drama of the pure sea. Tom says, this is in an Irish lake. This Baba, tiny Baba, Tom has labeled, come to me. Yeah, the drama of the sky and the landscape. Kathy and Tom. She's trying to get away from me, but she <laughs> simply can't. I looks like Baba and you. <laughs> uh -huh. Tom has labeled this Baba at day's end against the evening sky. And these we selected as some of the paintings that would be lesser known that many people probably haven't seen before, just as a, a small little grouping of his, of your work. So thank you for 
helping us revisit Tom's beautiful artwork. Thank you, Ken. Yeah. Does uh, anyone like to ask a question or share an observation? Oh. What yes, is, uh, what's the tip? What? Go ahead, Jimmy. What's the typical size of those paintings? Typical size of those paintings. Oh, 12 by 16. Well, by 18. I'd say, what do you think? Oh, that's just a little guy. I know, but a lot of them are little guys. No. Can you see that one? This is one of the ones that we showed with Baba in the waves. And so just as. Oh, yeah, we showed that. Many of them are. I, I say many of them are rather small. Some are quite large. Huh? Yeah, that's true. So I don't know if there's not a typical size, really. Uh, See, that's a good size. Mm hmm yeah. Uh, it's 20 by 24. If we had more of a setup, I could I don't, you know, the room is kind of dark, but we have all these, I wish we could show all these nice paintings here. God. We need to open a gallery. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, could we do this? I don't know. Sure. Why not? I don't know. Let's see, how could we do this? Oh dear, I don't know how to do this. Okay, if I do this, can you see a painting? Or not yes. really? Yes, we can see that. Yep, when you hold it still. It helps to pin pin the picture so that everybody can see it. Yeah. I don't I, I don't know how to do this. No, not, not you, I can me. do it. Mm -hmm. Not you. No, the host will ha would ha uh, highlight highlight the image. Which one do you? Oh wait, Tom is wanting to show something. <laughs> okay. Can you see that by the Irish Shepherd? Yes. Beautiful. And here's a. We don't really have spots or anything. This is one of Tom's favorites. Can you see that one? Mm. I, I, I just see that one painting with Bob on the horizon and you're showing things and they're not changing on my screen. I don't know. What, okay. What. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And, and, and also at that point where you were showing the face of Baba that he had seen on that magazine or whatever. I right. couldn't see that either. Oh, okay. Okay. We'd yeah. like to see that too. Yeah, you got to pin pin. You, you, have, you, have, to, you have to click on the uh, the screen where Tom and Kathy are. You can't just, it's not the, the, the one that's being shown. Okay. Okay. I don't, should I hold it up a little longer or should I, you get the idea, I guess. Well, she has to click on her screen to make oh, it. I have to click uh, on not, my screen? No, 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 no. Rosalie does. It's not, oh, okay. there's nothing you can do. Okay. What, am I, what am I clicking? <laughs> you have to scroll through all those pictures of people on the side. And when you find the one with Tom and Kathy, that's where the, she's showing things. I see nothing on the side. I just see that picture on the screen. Well, ne ne never mind. We don't have time for a Zoom lesson. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's very lovely to see yeah. here. Thank you. They're fabulous Tom, paintings. I, I, I have a question, uh, Tom. Um, I was wondering if you could, if you could, if you could, if you could talk more about the feeling you wanted to convey with the small Mirababa, very small in the landscape. Are there any other artists that you've also looked at that helped you uh, execute that or gave you the idea of a small baba? Okay, so your question is... Uh, what is the feeling you wanted to convey with Maribaba in the small in the landscape? Okay, what, did, what is the what, feeling you wanted to convey with a small baba in a dramatic landscape? Well, there's presence in 
my past and my remembrance of them, I see a fear is in a painting, which is a, an image out of my past. It connects him to me. I mean, was was the was the um, inspiration seeing Jesus waving at a distance when you were six and seven in your schoolroom? Oh, what about it? That I always feel that was sort of a connecting point because undoubtedly it's part of the same psychology. Mm. And Baba fascination. Well, I think it's a, I think it's very interesting that you said that the the feeling of you know you see Baba very far away in your pain, but it makes you feel more. Right. It's very beautiful. I've always thought. So he's loving. He was saying he really loves the feeling of the the small Baba in the landscape. Yeah, yeah. And Tom, J. Baba, it's Kebby, and you know. In, we have so many of your art cards and prints in Meherana's bookstore, but I tell you, and I see them constantly, but I tell you, seeing them like this, it's sort of like they became alive, even more alive than, than I would look at them and think, oh, these are really beautiful. But it's like, I can really feel Baba. I really like, I felt Baba waving to me and pulling me in and welcoming me. So this is really, really fabulous. And thank you so much. It's so great to see you and Kathy. Well, and she is that. Do you, can you show your painting? I, I don't know. What, 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 what's we have bought one of Tom's yeah. paintings. That we have this. We have this lovely painting which we call Baba Climbing El Capitan, and it's like Tom Riley had never been to California, and yet he painted what I swear is our El Capitan here in Yosemite, with Bob with the Merced River Canyon in the background, and it just said to me how universal Bob is that Tom didn't even know what he was doing. So see if you oh, let's, let's turn on some lights. Let's see if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Here, just do it this direction. You have to get the one. Okay. Board. Okay. Here, I'll switch. Try to switch this. Okay. Can you see that? Oh yes, yes. Oh, yeah, Can down. you bring it a little closer? That's wonderful. Yeah. Oh. So it's it's our own right here at next uh -huh. door to Meherana. Baba is here with us. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Unique. Oh my goodness. It's in the perfect place. Baba Coining El Capitan. <laughs> right near Thank you. you. <laughs> oh. That's yeah. Which other paintings of Tom's do you have, Kevy and Ralph? Uh, there's some. Well, we have a couple of prints, but I think Ralph's gone to look. Oh, good, good, good. They're 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 in our um stair tower with Baba Art. Oh yes, yes. Ah, uh, so Rosalie, you probably love all the Irish connections. <laughs> Baba in Ireland. Okay. Hey, Ralph found. I can't. I just hold it. Okay, here's, can you see this one? Oh, a little closer. Oh, wow. There's Bob, the Baba's in blue, yes? Yes. Maybe. Baba, yes. Blue coat. Hmm, wow. Looks like fire a little bit, or after the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's well we have always have that here. Yes, that's right. Huh. Oh, can you turn it a little down? So there's a little sheen. On. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, it's hard to. So the the tiny bobas sort of pull you into the picture because you can't not see it, even if it's tiny. You 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 see it. And then you have it really pulls you into the painting to 
see what's going on there. I think that's true. There's something kind of compelling. Yes, compelling. <clears throat> Say that again. It expands, his image expands the essence of life. Yeah. We didn't, hear, we didn't hear that. His image expands the essence of the painting. Mm -hmm. oh. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Oh, that one's amazing. Ah. Oh. You know, a nice, perhaps a, a sharing would be the quote that Baba said to you in the lagoon cabin. Which is what? Baba turned to. Uh, I don't remember. In, in the lagoon cabin in 58, uh, you were introduced as artists from New York. And Baba said, Remind me. Okay. Yoga for the East. I have to go get this quote. I have it, Kathy, yeah. um, if you'd like. Oh, good. Yes. Thank you. Because I, I read that during the introduction. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It is, Tom said, then my art became a revelation of his being. As Baba had said to me, Tom, in the lagoon cabin, yoga for the East is a means toward the fulfillment of the spiritual life, just as art in the West is a process toward the realization of the sacred within. Yeah, so true. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what art was for me and is in general a revelation of the presence of his reality in so many unique and wonderful ways. This collection is just stunning. It's so beautiful to see them all together. Ooh. Thank you. It's so such oh, a any more. Any more. Oh, there's so <laughs> hey, Jim Facino here. Just can you hear me? I just wanted to ask a question, a technical question. Oh, is Painter that Jim? Pardon? Hi. Is that Jim? Percino. Yes, hi. Hey. hey. How are I you? I don't know what I look like. Uh, hi, good day. Uh, <laughs> good day from Australia. So, uh, so Tom, technically, from one painter to another, uh, I, I notice, of course, you're using you use this very small brush strokes. It looks like very, and you uh, you build up obviously this these layers and textures, which is quite fascinating, quite beautiful, very evocative. Okay, could you? Okay, so. Yeah. Jim is Jim Fresino in Australia is saying you you build up layers and textures with very with very thin small brush strokes with thin uh, small brush strokes and I'm and I'm I'm just I'm, I'm looking at that thinking how long must that, that have taken that you know besides besides the beauty that it ev evokes yeah. it must have taken must a have long time little teeny tiny fine trees yeah. 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 Not, not, not <laughs> i all right did you say that I, I didn't quite catch that what was the answer well, it wasn't a long process at all it wasn't no were, how long would how long would it take you to do uh, say an average painting you have, was there, a, 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 do they vary in time? Or some take long, some take short time? Yeah. An afternoon for a painting? Yeah. yeah. That's whole... amazing. Really? An afternoon may be part of the next day. Golly. Yeah. Okay. 
that's that's amazing, Tom. That's amazing to think that you could do that in such a short amount of time. That's fantastic. The focus was so absolutely complete and total. Mm. Yeah, the the focus was entirely on on the work at hand, and nothing interfered. And everything went into that process. Okay, that that's that's uh, that's as you say, it's a revelation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Jim, you're. What was it? We call it a, a mural on the wall of a building in Conway. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yes, it was. You had Baba yes. as the. Uh, was it the? Yeah. Uh, the captain of the of the ship. He was the captain. He was the pilot. Or the captain. All right. The only, th the one thing I, I don't have a picture of it to show you, but I do have the poem that Baba somehow decided to give me that I added to the painting, which I think isn't. I'm not really a poet, but he gave me a little, he gave me a little inspiration for this uh, little uh, quote to go along with the painting, uh, with the mural. And so I'll, I'll tell it to you. It's very short. It says from the Wakama to the Swanee, time flows gently, twisting and turning, uh, oh, twisting and turning in its, in its eternal show to the ocean must go. On this river, a great captain rides, guiding his boat round shallows and currents twist, safely home to port and silent sea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can make a painting of that, Tom. Yeah. I oh. will. No need to send any money. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we can share the we can share the you know the, the gratuities. <laughs> uh, I want to say hi. This is Cindy and Jeff. Cindy and Jeff. Yes, we're here. Oh, and cool. we really love seeing all this stuff. And I thought I had seen anything, everything. And I think we probably have the prize for most Tom Riley artworks in our place in India. We don't have any here. Oh yeah, we do, we have two prints, but we get a prize for, for um, fanhood, fandom. So we're, we're fans. Anyway, Jay Baba. Thank you for- Everybody, it's nice seeing everybody. Yeah, are you able to be seen or are you- Oh God, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, what I'd like to say is that Cindy came to a memory. Cindy came to live at Tom and Yvonne's in Woodstock when she was in her twenties, right, Cindy? Yes, early twenties at that. So Tom was painting away back then. Yeah. I remember the paints being out but i don't remember tom painting but he must have been doing it mm -hmm. but you know he had a secret life that i know nothing of so what can i say <laughs> yes um, oh see this is what they're seeing i know what they're seeing i don't want them to see us no i clearly remember watching on the sofa he made me high yes <laughs> i wanted to I, I assume that is John, are John and Deb Meyer on, on the Zoom? No. Because they, they were. Yes, yes, yes we're, we're here. We're here. Oh, good. Yeah. Could you show them your painting? You want to bring it? Sure. Okay. Because that's going to be very important in this painting that. John and Deb Meyer bought from Tom is actually going to be on the cover of Tom's autobiography. Which painting is that? Let's see, they're going to bring it. The title is Meeting in a Sacred Place. Uh, Deborah went to get it. Oh, good. Oh, good. And since it's such an artistically interesting story, could you tell about 
the title of your upcoming book? Um, <laughs> I don't know how well you can see this. Let's see. I don't okay. see when a square. Let's not see. great lighting in here. Let's see. That's good. Oh, no. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, could you bring it a little closer in? Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> good. Oh, look. Wow. A little further back. Yeah. yeah, there you go, because you have the light in the. Yeah, it's hard to get the light exactly right here. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Ooh. So, um, <gasps> um, John and Deb, you're, are you getting more light? That's the title of the book. Are you getting more light in your life from that painting? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we're we getting more light in our life from the painting. <laughs> yeah. The painting is absolutely illuminating. Um, yes. Did Tom tell you why he's titling his book More Light? That's a beautiful story. Because cat was in <laughs> Okay, tell that story. Which I don't remember. Okay, there Tom's one of Tom's favorite painters since. His youth was William Turner. And Tom read a biography of Turner in the last few years. A long time ago. And tell what you remembered. His health was not good. And there were many acquaintances and friends who were visiting his home. And as he lay in bed one afternoon, the room, there were many, many people in the room. And he rose up, opened his eyes and stretched out his arms as though he was about to grasp something. And everyone focused upon him and he said, more light. and fell back on his pillow. Didn't die, but became unconscious. And so Tom decided to title his autobiography More Light. And that's what it's all about, the revelation of consciousness. Mm. Mm. There's some, I'm sure there are other wonderful artists there who have some, something, any other artistic, artistic folks in the, out there, the outer realms, <laughs> inner realms. <laughs> Today's rendition of Baba and Kippy. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. Who is that? Beautiful Ferris Day. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. oh, look at that. Could you bring it a little closer? Okay, well, it's a little harder to. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh how wonderful. <laughs> Baba, with, is that with your putty tat? No, this is uh, Elizabeth's dog, I think. Oh, 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 Kippy, maybe. Kippy. Oh, how sweet. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. Oh. It's been a fun year of drawing and painting. Oh, my golly. Woo. Um, I have two more questions for Tom, if that's OK. Sure. There seems to be, there's, is there a comic book uh, flavor to your work? Was there any comics that you followed? Any comics that you followed? Did you have any influence through comics? So, yeah, that's interesting. I think he, like the, the uh, yeah, that's an interesting question. Do you, are you asking because of that, the wild whiskered family? <laughs> there's, I, there's something, it's not a fantasy, but there's, there's a feel like you don't, a person doesn't want to do Baba in historical places with, you know, 
that we've seen. There's a fantasy. Uh, it just seems like a uh, there's a comic American comic book element. Huh. Oh, yeah, I know that he's saying that, you know, you have this fantasy of Baba in places. It times the symbolism of the paintings often in Irish landscapes or, you know, that is from part of his, you know, Celtic roots. But it's true that it's they're not the usual, like a Baba portrait type of painting. Yeah. But it, I don't know if it comes from a comic book sort of a origin, but more just a, almost like, I don't know, what would you say? What? Putting Baba in an Irish landscape or rowing in the sea toward a drowning. Part of my comic past. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, some, I think, that is very, a unique part of Tan's style, actually. Hmm. Kathy, Tom, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It's been just a lovely opportunity. Thank you for saying that. Yes, thank you for setting this well, up. Well, I mean that, Tom. Mm. I've had such a, a joyful time working with you and Kathy and visiting and looking mm. at all your paintings. Mm -hmm. It's been it's been a special treat for us well, too. I appreciate the money, but there's no <laughs> need to send an email. <laughs> the easiest thing to do, Tom, is just forward it right on to me. I'll take care of it for you. I deposited it. Uh, <laughs> Thank um, you. Where's, where's the vodka? I heard you were serving vodka. <laughs> he knows. You heard your, now you're going to be serving vodka. Um, so, Irish whiskey. <laughs> Everybody's invited over. <laughs> we'll be right there. <laughs> This has been so rich to see so many all in one place at one time. It's wonderful. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Is that, Thank, time. You. Is Thank that you for coming, everyone. Thank you so Thank much you. for hosting and Kathy and Tom for sharing the beautiful images Tom and, Kathy, and stories. We're sending much love to all of you. Yes, we are. And oh, much love to from you. us to you all. <laughs> Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Good Baba. night. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Oh, thank you. Thank you for. I'm so glad the technical builds difficulties resolved. <laughs> you were worth waiting for. This is Betty. Oh, hi, Betty. Hi. <laughs> thank you. We just love, love uh, being with you all, east and west, okay. north and south. Such a treat. Such a treat. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Mm. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good, Good night, night, everyone. Good to see everyone. Jay Papa. Jay Papa. Jay Papa.